where she is right now. We just need her home. Like, I don't know if she's stuck somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's trapped. I don't know if she's eating or if she's drinking. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I just need her home. It's okay. This is Love Hurts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future content. 16-year-old Jolie Musa was a complete joy to all of those who knew her. She was upbeat, creative, and extremely smart. As a sophomore in high school, Jolie excelled in academics, and she had dreams of attending NYU after graduating high school. She was young, but so very talented, and singing was her special gift. Jolie loved to sing, and her melodic, soft voice was so well-controlled and tranquil. In conjunction with singing, Jolie was passionate about writing. She wrote multiple songs of different genres. There's something about feeling in your own lyrics. There's lots of things you can sing about when you just hear it. When you hear it. Be yeah, I can't shake this feeling on the floor Writing my own music, wanting more Aside from her music, she also wrote numerous short stories. She was truly gifted and talented, and she had a beautiful bright smile to match. Her smile is what initially caught the attention of 17-year-old Nabiu Ibrahim. The two met when they were both attending Mount Vernon High School. It was love at first sight on both ends, especially on Jolie's side. Nabiu was her first boyfriend, and in the beginning, she was absolutely smitten and completely in love and lust with him. Jolie was an identical twin, and she did absolutely everything with her twin sister. But once Nabiu entered the scene, all Jolie ever wanted to do was hang out with him. It was cute at first, but it wasn't long before he revealed who he really was a controlling, abusive individual who believed in treating his girlfriend like property instead of a companion. He bullied Jolie. Often, he would belittle her and call her names. And when that didn't satisfy his sick need for control, he would beat her. After, he always apologized, of course, and he would tell her it would never happen again. But it always happened again, and each attack escalated and got worse and worse. In one assault, he choked Jolie until she blacked out. And that's when she knew things were way beyond her control. She reported the assault to police and school officials. Nabiu was charged with assault and he was expelled from the high school they attended together. He was made to go to an alternative school. And police say that's what set him off. On the evening of January 12th of 2018, Jolie was at home doing her twin sister's hair when she suddenly became preoccupied with her phone. She began texting someone. Then out of nowhere, she hopped up and told her sister that she had to go out for a minute and that she would be right back. Hours passed with no sign of Jolie. Her twin sister became concerned, so she texted Jolie asking about her whereabouts. She got an odd response back from Jolie, stating that she was on her way to a party more than three hours away. Jolie's family immediately knew something was wrong, and they went to police and news reporters with their concerns. We communicate all the time, like all the time. So the fact that I haven't heard anything from my, from my child, that's not normal. That's not normal at all. Like, Sarita Stewart's not... daughter, 16-year-old Jolie Musa, has not been seen since Friday. Friday afternoon, she was doing her twin sister's hair when she stopped to text someone. After she stops, she says, I have to go. I will, I will be back real quick. When she leaves, she, we don't hear from her in an hour. We keep texting her. We blow up her phone. We keep texting her. Remind you, this is not like her. It's just not normal. You know, a part of me wants to say, oh yeah, well, she's just acting like a teenager, but this isn't her 
This isn't her M.O. This isn't how she acts, so I can't help but worry. Video on their security system shows Jolie leaving at 445. I don't know where she is right now. We just need her home. Like, I don't know if she's stuck somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's trapped. I don't know if she's eating or if she's drinking. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I just need her home. It's okay. Fairfax County Police have not put out a missing persons alert because they tell me Jolie is classified as a runaway since she left on her own. But they say they are looking at every lead and trying to find her. It sounds absolutely crazy to me, but police refuse to put out an Amber Alert or even consider the fact that Jolie may be seriously in danger. Instead, they classified her as a runaway because they had video of her willingly leaving the home. Jolie's mom and sister knew it was not in her character to run away, so they continued to speak with the press about her disappearance. Hi, everybody. Um, I just want to give you an update. Uh, Jolie, Deborah Renee Musa has not been found yet. Um, she went missing Friday the 12th, um, and we still haven't found her, and today is the 16th, Monday the 16th. Uh, we're still looking for her. I just want to send a plea out to everyone, um, to Jolie... If you have left the home voluntarily, which I highly doubt, but if you have, if you feel like you were in trouble for anything you have done, you are not in trouble, baby. Just, Just come right. home. Just come home. Just come home. Just You're not in trouble. Right. Nobody's going to be in trouble. And if someone have, have, has Jolie, please. You're not in trouble either. You're not in trouble either. So what I'm asking of you is to please just drop her off at a, a gas station and or and let her walk to a public area. Uh, if you don't want to be seen, if you don't want your vehicle seen on camera, if you don't want to be seen on camera, you know, just have her to walk into a public business and just say, I am Jolie Musa and I need to call my mother. We're not worried about We're not worried about anybody but Jolie's safety. We, I miss my baby. I love my baby and I know that she is alive somewhere and I need her to come home. It's been five days. Five days. And I can't get an Amber Alert. And I know this is not my daughter's personality. She's never late. I know these things about my child. Yeah. I know my child. So please, I beg you, please, anyone with any information, you don't have to call me and tell me who you are. You can, you can. You can submit information anonymously. I just want my baby back. It's not about it's about my sister. We need her back. Please, I beg you, you. I beg of you, please, please, please. On January 25th of 2018, a two full weeks after Jolie went missing, police searched a local park that was less than a mile away from her home. It wasn't the first time that they searched the park looking for her, but it was their first time doing a thorough search of that area. Not long into the search, they located a body hidden under branches and leaves, and that body was later identified as 16-year-old Jolie Musa. There are a lot of questions for police tonight who first told us that Jolie was a runaway and she was not in any danger. We now know that she was in danger. They are treating this as a homicide case. Fairfax County Police say officers were in Woodlawn Park this morning doing a second search of the park. Some kind of investigative lead brought them here. They didn't find anything the first time. That search, we're told, happened in the immediate days after Jolie was reported missing. This morning, un uh, under leaves and debris, officers found what they believe to be Musa's body. The medical Fairfax County police officers were out here this morning conducting a search in the park for a second time, hoping to find Julie alive. Uh, just around 11 o'clock this morning, one of our officers discovered what appears to be her body covered by leaves and debris. Eventually, evidence led police to Nabiyu, who made a full confession to the murder. He told police he put Jolie in an MMA-type chokehold and squeezed as hard as he could for as long as he could. Once Jolie lost consciousness and he realized she was dead, he carried her body into the woods and covered it with leaves, never calling for help. Instead, he took her cell phone and texted her sister. Acting as if he were her, he wrote the message about going to a party three hours away. Six days after leaving Jolie's lifeless body in the park, Nabiyu returned and made an attempt to conceal her body even more.
Using a chef's knife, he dug a small hole and he put Jolie in. When asked why he did it, he claimed he was in a blind rage. He was upset that he had been charged with assaulting Jolie by slapping her previously. And he was even more upset that the assault led to him being transferred to an alternative school. In September of 2019, Nabihu pleaded guilty to the murder of Jolie, and he was sentenced to 99 years in prison. Jolie Moose's ex-boyfriend, 18-year-old Nabihu Ibrahim, pleaded guilty to first-degree murder today. He admitted in court that he beat her and strangled her and then left her body, hid it in a park. For Jolie Moose's mother, the guilty plea brings some closure to a long, painful year and a half. I'm just, I'm just grateful that I'm, it's, it's, ha it's happened, to be honest with you. I mean, there's a lot of people that do not get closure. There's a lot of families that are still looking for their missing children. And there's a lot of murderers that are still out free. Jolie Musa had been in an abusive relationship with her boyfriend, Nabiyu Ibrahim, and she tried to break up with him. He had assaulted her twice and even strangled her once until she passed out and he thought she was dead. That was in December of 2017. One month later, she was dead. That he loves you and that he's going to be there for you and he would never, you know, yeah, he gets angry, but he'd never do this. I, I think that... Um, I think that she didn't believe, she didn't realize the danger that she was in. After Ibrahim pleaded guilty, the judge convicted him of first degree murder. He will spend between 20 years and life behind bars. My heart truly goes out to Jolie's family, friends, and loved ones, especially her twin sister. If you are in a domestic abuse relationship, create an out plan and get out. And once you are out, do not turn back. Turning back can cost your life. As always, loves, stay safe. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and hit the notification bell for future content.